All right, everybody, Louis Borsalino, Man Over Market, and this is our wrap-up for April 11th. And um, you know what? I, I like to tell you that I made a ton of money, and I like to tell you that everybody in the room made a ton of money today, but that little move up to here today, that high at 20.56 half, I had told our room that, uh, that I was in a sell zone from 48 up to 56, above 56. Um, we would... Uh, be neutral until uh, the market made up his mind and of course you know um, me personally I sold I sold into this rally stopped myself out and then it failed and then it you know it, it, you know the rest of the world I mean I think it beat up that bad and I went back and I got even for what I did in the morning but you know what sometimes you just need to wait for the failure all right you let it go up to the points that you're talking about. If it fails up there, you get on it and you jump on it, and that's what you're supposed to do. So, you see up here, we failed at 56 half. I put out that you know the key to the rally keep going was 56. We have to stay above it. We did not. The other thing up there, if you take a look at the delta and the volume that was being built up there, it was nothing. So it didn't even tell you to get long. So, I'm going to show you a way to look at the profile afterwards. And understand how much these algos jerk you off. All right, excuse me, excuse my language, but they just go out there. I'm so mad that the CME allows these guys to go in there and manipulate the market. Okay, they shouldn't have to allow them to do it. Okay. All right, so you go in here, you split the market. I'm going to go here and I'm going to split the market at E. All right. All right. And then I'm going to split the, split the market at J, okay? And if you do this every day, it should keep you on the right side of the market, okay? So if you look in the first hour and a half, the trend was set. It was down, okay? We went up, you know, but for the first hour, we opened up here, half hour, and they rallied us here for uh, 45 minutes so they could sell the shit out of it. And then what did they do? They take it down, bracket D, they close it here, all right? And then we got our noise period, all right? We had 10 points of noise. They make a low at E and F. They go up here. You got 10 handles of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then at the end of the day, they come in and they tell you what they told you the first hour and a half was true for the day. And they bring it, and they bring it all the way down and uh, almost take out yesterday's uh, lows. So, um, you know, I, in the room, I, you know, we were waiting for this 56 area, all right? Personally, I didn't. I thought I jumped in front of it too soon. And then after that, I told the people that we failed up there, that we are going to, we were going to um, uh, trade from the short side of the market, okay? And not only trade from the short side of the market, our targets were 44, 40, and 36 half, okay? So... That was what uh, that's what I had put out to people, okay. And then uh, not only when you look at the profile. So if I you know take that out of here, um, what are the other things that we use to try to keep us on the right side of the market? And I can't find my mouse. That's why I keep doing doing this. All right. All right. I'll bring in our ES, our trade pivots, okay, our trend pivots. Now, today was also another tricky day, right? All right. So we had a bull bear zone right here, okay, as you can see, from 44 and a quarter to 46 and a quarter, okay? And most of the day, we kind of stayed right in here, right? Until the end of the day, this is what we're talking about, this 10 points of noise, this nonsense, and then at the end of the day, they sell it off. Also... We had opened up with a, with our trend pivots. Now, these are our trend pivots, okay? So our trend pivots were in a buy most of the days. You can see they came down here, and then they bounced off, and then finally took them out, and so on, right? So here was another conflicting uh, view, and, it, and, and, and we had to wait till you know, basically 2 o'clock, 2.15 to take these things out, and then, you know, they sold off all the way into the close, okay? So, 
kind of disappointing day for me because personally, but we were on the right side of market. We told people in our room that they failed up here. You got to trade from the short side and gave them the targets and uh, um, come on in our room and see how we uh, try to uh, uh, maneuver through all these different uh, tools that we've got developed. And uh, you can, so here's the same methodology, but on a one minute basis, okay? And as you can see, kind of got whipped a little bit today, all right? But, you know, right here when we took it out, right here when we took it out, right about uh, two o'clock, it was good for the catching all this move down. So, all right. Um, remember, uh, Man Over Market, you can come in and uh, sign up, and we would love to have you in our trading room, and uh, hopefully we can keep you on the right side of the market. Um, by the way, this close for me was not a very good close. Um, it's a very negative close as far as I'm concerned is with the S&Ps. Um, so stay tuned tomorrow. Come in, get, a, get our briefing, and uh, join us if you can. I'll talk to you later. Bye.